Okay, hello. So it's been a while since I've done one of these. I've got a few different things to go through. Um, I'll do them all in separate videos. One of the things I wanted to show you today was similar to the animated splash background I did in a video a few weeks ago, a few weeks, maybe a couple of months ago now, um, using Foundry for things that aren't just battle maps. So I showed you animated splash screens before. I'm going to show you today what you can use it for in terms of like a town or a settlement. This is Valaki from Curse of Strahd. I've put journal entries on this map for each of my vendors and major places. So here's Blue Water Inn. This all pulls through from my um, World Anvil add-on. It talks to my World Anvil world. Um, so I've got in here you know, who's at these buildings, what they sell. I've got another thing to show you with that in another video. Um, I've given all my players access to view these tokens. You can do that by going in the journals entry. Um, oh, I've got to find my right place here. I should have checked this out beforehand. But we've got World Anvil. Um, oh, locations. Places, sorry. Valaki. Each of these I had right-clicked, gone to configure permissions, and allowed my, my players by default to observe them, which means once they're shared and they've been opened, everyone can see them. Next thing I did was, if I just activate this scene first of all, I made a, should hear the music kick in, in a moment. I've got a Valaki daytime ambience playlist, which should have started playing automatically, I think, because I fiddled with it off and on before I started this video. It hasn't done it. But we should have some quiet sort of daytime noises in there. You can see there's a snow effect on. Um, for my live campaign, I also have a little text box up in the top right corner that has the current date and time of the campaign. So if I just have this on screen while my players are doing, say, a shopping session or a theatre of mind around town, it means I've got all my resources in one place. If they want to go and buy something from a blacksmith, well, I've got the blacksmith vendor tables with Barovia adjusted prices in here um, and reminders of who lives there and what they've done for players. When it gets to night time, though, I change the transition to nighttime. I've done a couple of things on here that hopefully you'll think look quite cool for the atmospherics. So I went across this map and added a couple of small light sources, which you don't see in the daytime, but at night it just gives a bit of an impression of torchlight. Something else I've done, which you probably definitely didn't notice, as you'll know, Foundry can handle GIFs and WebMs, so you kind of animated things on your um, scenes. So I got a little fog cloud effect, and everywhere that the official map had smoke coming from a chimney, I've put a little smoke effect on. So if your players are zoomed in, it now looks quite ambient. You've got the snow, you've got all the street lights, and the smoke coming from chimneys, along with your background noise. I've done similar things for Kresk and the village of Barovia, where it's obviously raining all the time. So let me know what you think of that. If there's anything you do want me to cover in videos as well, just comment and ask me to, and I'll try and get that done soon. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care.